Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Good day everyone and I welcome you all to our exciting physics class. In today's class, we will be solving problems on electric circuit. The first problem, problem one says, find the current in a wire with a charge carrier density of 10 to the power of 28 per cubic meter cross-sectional area of 0 0.5 square millimeters and drift velocity of 0 0.01 meters per second. The elementary charge E is given as 1.60 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulomb. Okay. In our previous video, we said that if uh, current is generated in a conductor such as a conducting wire then we have what we call number of free electrons per unit volume that is for every one cubic meter uh, portion of the material the number of el free electrons there generating the current is called charge carrier density and is given the letter n small letter n so if you read the problem here you will see that uh, we are given a charge carrier density of uh, 10 to the power of 28 per cubic meter this means in this material okay this wire every one cubic meter volume has 10 to the power of 28 free electrons that generate current so we got the first parameter we are going to say uh, solution we got the first parameter our first parameter is uh, charge carrier density charge carrier density and this is denoted by small letter n and is 10 to the power of 28 Per cubic meter that is the first thing the second one given is cross-sectional area and the cross-sectional area cross sectional area is denoted by a in the upper case and this is 0 0.5 square millimeters now square millimeters is not the SI unit we multiply this 0 0.5 given by 10 to the power of minus 6 to change it to square meter okay this is always necessary and the drift velocity okay we are given the drift velocity drift velocity uh, v equals uh, look at the drift velocity here 0 0.01 meters per second Finally, we are told that our elementary charge, elementary charge E is 1.60 times 10 to the power of negative 19 coulomb. Okay, the target variable is current because they say we should find current. So electric current here we are going to say electric current i is unknown is our target variable now what formula do we use to calculate this current we use i equals n a v e i equals n a v e now we make the substitution our n is the charge carrier density n is this so we are going to say to uh, 10 raised to the power of 28 okay then our a our e is this one we, we don't take this we take this open bracket 0 0.5 times 10 raised to the power of minus 6 and then our v drift velocity 0 0.01 and finally the charge carrier density uh, the electronic charge 1.60 
times 10 to the power of negative 19 uh, in Coulomb. So this will give us the current generated in amperes. Okay, I have to bring this uh, very close for you to see. Um, the first one is 10 to the power of uh, 28. So this is how you press that. Um, okay, uh, I have 10 here. So I, I got 10 raised to the power of, okay, I have to press this, you see this one, raised to the power of uh -huh, uh, 28, so I press 28, then times, the next one is 0 0.5 exponential negative 6, so I press here, uh, 0 0.5, you see. Then here is the exponential. Then I press this uh, exponential. Negative, look at the negative here. You see this function. Okay, negative uh, six. See what you have? Uh -huh. Next, you press times. Uh, the drift velocity is 0 0.01. Mm -hmm. Then times the electronic charge. 1.60 exponential uh -huh. negative press the negative here negative 19 okay finally you can press this to get the answer and you can see that my answer is just 8 my result is 8 so this means I have uh, sorry I have 8 ampere of current so in this wire where the carrier density is this the cross-sectional area of the wire is this the drift velocity of uh, uh, the free electrons is this and this is the electronic charge when this happens the the, the magnitude of current generated in the conductor is 8 ampere and that is it thank you for watching